these are all pumpkins, guys. The funny part is, I thought they'd be different, but they're not. It's literally 20 bins of all orange pumpkins. here in Walmart. Um, I forgot to do the intro in my car. So I've already got two pillows in my cart. I'm here to get a couple things. So I thought I'd bring you with me. Never done a Walmart haul before, but there's a first time for everything. So let's see what we can find. I want that. Doesn't say how much it is. I bet you it's like 20 bucks. Last time I was here, I got the pillows for the camper and spent like $400 decking it out, so I don't know. I think I've reached my limit on pillows, even with those. So this is the Canadian Walmart. It might be a little bit different than yours. I'm not even here for Halloween stuff, so why am I doing this? No one knows, but it's provocative. It gets the people going. <laughs> These are cute for $2. Are they all the same? My son likes ghosts. I might get those. Those are like transparent sort of acrylic. I spent a total of $225.69 Canadian at Walmart, which is probably about 150 US. So I will bring this home and let you guys know what I got. The most expensive thing was wet cat food for $25. Most of this stuff was pet supplies, but there is a few fun things. So the first thing I found was I tried to make one from Dollar Tree stuff because I I just wanted to use it right away. I took a mop handle from Dollar Tree and I took a scouring pad and I took some zip ties and I tried to make this and it didn't work out so well. So I'm glad that I found this. I didn't need this part, but it's attached to this. So I had to get it and it's $12. It's the Vilita. I guess it's meant for cleaning your bath, but it pivots like always. So this is also Telus scoping, telescoping, so it gets longer. So I'm gonna use this on my floors when they get really dirty because my dogs track in so much dirt and if I don't mop a lot, it gets like caked down to the floor and you can see their paw prints and everything. 
So for 12 bucks, that's not bad. Now where they get you is the refills that are $7. Mm, I don't wanna be doing that a lot. Pen and gear. Now, if you like black permanent markers and you wanna save some money, I find that these are better than Sharpies. The tip stays hard longer. And in this pack, you would never know, you get two that are like a Sharpie and you get one that is like a really fine tip, even though it doesn't say that on the pack. So I'm just gonna open that to show you guys what I'm talking about. So you get two like this, which is what you're probably expecting. And then you get one like this that has like that pen end to it, but it's permanent marker. So those are like $2.97, probably a lot cheaper in the States. So I always get these, I love them. I don't have to say anything about it. It's just the smell, it's perfect. How much was that? I think it was less than $5. 10 ounce jar, no, that's not it. That's something different. I think it was like three or four bucks for that three ounce, I mean, three wick candle. Bins of Hot Wheel cars there. Lots and lots to choose from. Now, like the most expensive item I bought and I took one out already. 25 bucks for this. It's cheaper than getting the 24 pack. I think you end up saving about $10 by doing it that way. I found this adorable canister. Now I've been looking for something to put my coffee in because I buy my coffee in these like bulk size containers and they take up way too much space on my counter. But I don't like the um, containers that require two hands to open. So a lot of the time, you know, if there's a metal buckle there or even if the seal around the top is really tight you have to use two hands to go like this so this one it has that gasket on it but it's really easy to get off so that's why i got this and they did have two or three different sizes i thought this was the ten dollar one but it rang up as 6.97 so that was a pleasant surprise and it's just that really nice off-white pattern they had another pattern that was also off-white, but that was obviously my favorite. Now I saw someone else haul these, <clears throat> I don't know if they called them pants or jogging pants, but they're in the pajama section. Now, I just filmed after the PJs and it didn't record any of the haul after that, so I gotta redo it. Okay, gotta get pumped here again. Let's go, let's go. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. It's all on the floor because I thought I was done. So this is the top. My boyfriend is into this thing called Naruto on Netflix. It's anime. I do not like it because there's like a thousand episodes. He's been watching it for months. Anyway, this is the men's large shirt. I don't think he'll fit into it. He might, which in case he'll claim it for his own, but in the meantime, I'm gonna put this on with those pants and that's gonna be what I'm talking about. Past, present, future, the best thing he's ever seen on a woman. I'm kidding, but you know what I mean. I gotta get him pumped up to think it's gonna be something better. I saw somebody haul airy dupe underwear from Walmart. I couldn't find them, but I needed them anyways. So I ended up getting this six pair of Fruit of the Loom. I like the colors and the contrasting um, elastic on them. I think like underwear seems to be one of those items that just has gone up in price a lot. I think they were, yeah, 15 bucks for six pairs. Um, so yeah. Now, I don't know what you guys think of these, but I had a pair from Walmart and I loved them. And my boyfriend's dog ate one of them. And some time has passed and I didn't think that they would still have them at Walmart. So I was thrilled to find another pair. Now, these are so comfortable. They've got the plastic bottom in case you need to run outside. 
I had worn them for a few months and they were still cushy. So on top of that and how cute they are, they're no eyes, but they've got like a little embroidered nose and whiskers, so it's not gonna fall off. Now, I don't remember if I kept the lone slipper that survived, but if I did, that way if she chews one of these, I'll still have two. I got one more each of these cups. They're the perfect size for a can of pop with ice cubes. It's a natural microphone. I should have bought two more of these. So this is the cheapest price I've ever seen these. They were only $4.97 each, so I got two of these. They're the small size, but it seems like it's the standard small. S is for standard. It even says standard. Why was I thinking? God. Okay, $4.97, and they're much nicer than the blue whale ones that used to be $5 that are now $8 after COVID. I think I showed you the Hot Wheel, the bath towel, I mean beach towel, rainbow. I saw it there before and these are in clearance now and it was marked down to $9. I believe these were probably like 15 originally. They're 28 inches by 60 inches. Um, so it was marked down to five. Now they had a lot of this really cool design left. I didn't get them because there was like 100 left, so I figure they'll probably mark them down even more and I'll go back and get them. But it was this old school scuba diver with that metal helmet coming up out of the water and a great white shark coming to bite his head off. So I'm gonna have to go back and check on those. So I didn't record the drama of me taking these scissors and popping it open to show you guys. So. You're just gonna have to imagine that that happened and look at how cute these designs are. We have the gray with the oop, boo, ghost. Oops, boo. What am I talking about today? Green with pumpkins and candy corn. I'm gonna save the best for last, just like they were in order when I originally did it, because I would have paid $1.75 just for the last cup alone. So this was hidden inside. Why would they hide this? There's a freaking dash end. I'm obsessed. So we've got the bulldog, the Beagle maybe, the hound dog and the dash hound. So cute, I love it. Now we have this French toast candle, three wicks. I think this was about $4.97. Don't have to really say much else, right? For a three wick candle, that's a good price and they smell pretty good when they're lit. Now, the only other thing I have to show you is the pet supplies that I got for my bunny. So I used to use Yesterday's News, which is meant for cats. And it was $20 a bag. And then I discovered Walmart has these for $11. It's the same sort of thing. You can see through the bag there. And that's what it looks like. Now, the appeal to this is not only is it recycled paper products, but it's dust free. So I've also discovered though, that if I just put this on the bottom and then on the top, I put the pine shavings, it's more cost effective and it helps it keep the odor down even more. Um, so the rabbit was actually in the kindergarten classroom with my son last year as the class pet um, for a year and he did so well there. I'll have to show him to you in one of uh, my other videos. He's half Flemish, half lion head, and his name is Hoogie, which is a Scandinavian term for the feeling of coziness and well being. So, how perfect is that? So, yeah, between this, which was also $10 for it's the pine cedar blend for 40 liters, and then two bags of the pellets and everything else I showed you my total came to 225 Canadian. So that's it for today, guys. 
This is going to be an editing nightmare, but I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Stay frugal. Don't you be eating my bleeding hearts.